All right, what is up, YouTube? So today I have a video, um, and I'm kind of doing like an intro to this video because when I did the video, I did not have my actual webcam set up, so it's just going to be me kind of clicking through. But as you can see, I'm on this video, which is like one of the only meaningful videos I put on YouTube. I have very few, and I'm just kind of starting to put them on there. But um, this video got a decent amount of views, got almost 100 views, which is kind of cool. And then someone actually commented on this video. It's the first comment I've ever got on any of my videos. And they asked about um, how what the problem could be in NetBeans. Um, and if you haven't watched this video, basically this video was just me going through how I fixed a runtime, uh, JavaFX runtime error in um, IntelliJ. And he was asking about similar errors um, in NetBeans. And so this video is basically me taking NetBeans and trying to run the same project that I got this error in, in NetBeans. And doing in doing that, I basically had to set up all the path kind of variables, basically get all the setup right in NetBeans in order to do it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. And if you are switching between um, IDEs, this hopefully will help you. I was actually very surprised and you can see me kind of struggle through this video. I'll cut out like all the, the parts that aren't relevant, but I left in some of the parts that were kind of funny because I really didn't think it was going to work the way I was doing it and I wasn't 100% confident in what I did, but it worked. Uh, actually, I was very surprised. So hopefully if you guys are trying to do this, it'll um, you'll be able to find this video right away and kind of skip through all the struggles that I had because it did I did kind of mess up. There's a lot of footage that I didn't put on here of me just kind of like struggling through how to get this to work but without further ado here you guys go all right so here we go again um, i'm gonna try to create uh try to just set up a java effects program instead of uh, netbeans uh, i normally use intellij so i'm not really too familiar with this um netbeans setup but uh, my instructor actually had a little video on uh, my school website that I'll be kind of following along with to try to set it up and then we'll see if I can uh, get it working. So yeah, without further ado, let's see what we got. Um, I know that first thing I gotta do is set up our libraries. We're gonna go into tools and then go down to libraries and we're just gonna add a new library. Um, yeah, we're gonna call this Java FX. And then let's see what we're gonna do with it. We're going to add stuff to it. Click on our add jar and yeah, this open Java FX, this is what I want. Alright, and then I want the library folder. Okay, that's what we want. So you want to select everything except for the SRZ zip file. We're going to add all those jars to the R library. Alright. And then if we click OK, that should give us our library. So now it'll be able to actually pull all that FX stuff that we need. Um, now we're going to try to create the actual prog uh, the actual program. Um, I already have one created in um, I already have one created in IntelliJ, but I'm going to try to create a new one here. I don't think I can import it. Um, there is a actual functionality inside of NetBeans to import one from Eclipse, which is another IDE software. I've also used that, um, but I don't have I don't see any kind of import from IntelliJ so I'm just gonna try to create a new project and then copy my files into that directory and hopefully be able to use them without too much modification so we'll try that but for now let's see about creating our project alright so I'm gonna try with the Java with Ant and then We'll do the Java application. I'm going to call this, I'm just going to leave it the name that it gives it. That's fine. Um, I, yeah, that's probably a fine directory. You can change your directories depending on where you want it to save your project. 
Um, also, it is odd that it is using this. So, not 100% sure if this JDK 1.8 is going to cause issues for me or not, but we're going to try. We'll just finish it. We'll create our program, wait for it to load up, see what happens. All right, so now that we have this project, we're going to try to add our library to it. And then this is kind of where you're going to see your whole project structure. So, but we're going to click, right click on this, click add library. And we're going to look for that JavaFX custom library that I just made. Um, Here it is, JavaFX. So we're going to add that library. So that did add all of our FX items, which is nice. I still am a little frustrated that it keeps adding the 1.8 JDK where I want the, uh, the 11. So this is just like the default one that it gave us. All right. So we did get our project somewhat set up, okay? It's not exactly how I would like it, but we do have an FX project um, set up right now. I also lost my output window to a window. Output, there you are, control four. Okay, so there's my output window. All right, um, now, Let's see what we got right now. Jex, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll try to maybe I'll pull this over here so you guys can see what I'm trying to do. See if it makes sense. All right, so I have on this file explorer. Whoops, not that one. Where to go? All right. So I have over here in this file explorer window my directory for my project. So this project behind me in um, NetBeans, it all the files for it are basically saved on uh, this PC documents Java project. That's where it is. And what I'm going to attempt to do is this over here is my project that I have already running in um, IntelliJ. So what I'm going to try to do is pull these files here into this application which I I don't want to move it though I just want to copy it I don't want that though all right not sure how this is gonna work if it even does it might not all right so there's a source file here already maybe what I will do is I'll just copy these copy mm. Ah, man, there's a Java application. All right, so we're just going to copy these three. And we're going to paste them into there. Again, I'm, I really am skeptical about how this is going to work. All right, and then this one, this is probably so not going to work. It's probably going to crash my whole thing. But hey, we'll give it a try. Um. Not 100% sure how this is going to work, or if it will work at all. It might not. Shortcut. I don't want a shortcut. I want... Copy. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that I don't have to worry about. Java docs I don't care about. I don't know what this... That's probably like an IntelliJ thing. I'm not going to worry about that one. I think that's what this one... Yeah, this one already has all the same things. So those two are the only two files I really want. Let's see what happens with that inside of here. I don't know if I can refresh this. All right, maybe I'll just uh, close it and try to reopen it. Okay, all right. Yeah, there we go. So that did work. I put all those um, I put all those files in there, and it it did actually recognize those fall, files now that they're in the directory. Let's just take a look at my main menu. It did actually bring up all the code. Okay, 
So this is my project. It did it did take those files. I highl I know this isn't gonna run if I just click run, but let's see what kind of crazy errors we get. Let's say hello world. Alright, so this is actually this is running the main that's what changed. Okay. So inside of here, my main job application, that's the one piece that did not come transfer over. Okay, so this file here is the main one that was created when we created our project. So that didn't change. Uh, all right, so we'll take out everything from there. Put my class in. Okay, main, public class main. So this isn't actually, <laughs> I didn't even name it main, it's named Java FX app application one. That is such a ridiculous name. All right, so we got that private label, my label. Alt shows, alt enter shows hit, hints. Wow, they're lying. FXML loader. Fix imports. Okay. Ah, that's okay. All right, so that's how you do it. Man, that beans is really weird. All right, so I added my imports. Now it looks like we have the imported imports we need, which was for label and then parent and a couple other things. So that's that. Looks like we still have some warnings going on up here. Not sure what all that's about. All right, let's <laughs> let's see what this is going to give me. So many errors, but let's try to run it and see what happens. Oh my God, it worked! Okay, that's impressive. I'm actually very very happy with how this uh, this came out. So this is my project. This is the project that I had inside of IntelliJ and it looks like I successfully got all the code into NetBeans and got it running. Um, yeah, sorry about the sorry about the confusion and like the <laughs> struggling through all this. Like I said, I'm still in school. This is just kind of I'm new new to this, just a student. But um, I had a question asked to me on one of my YouTube videos, um, pretty much like one of the only videos I put up, which was how to fix some errors that I was getting in my um, IntelliJ. And someone asked about NetBeans and basically how to uh, set up um, your program in NetBeans or I think it was how to like um, change up some of the um, project structure so I'll throw this up there and see um, you know maybe this will help I don't know if I fully answered the person's question and um, but this should kind of give you an idea of how how to structure your project and um, if I was able to kind of get all that in there, I think that's probably more than enough for anyone else to follow along with and get a JavaFX program running in NetBeans. Um, so in the future, I will start trying to uh, use different IDEs and create videos in um, in multiple IDEs so you guys can kind of follow along and whichever one is your preference. I do prefer IntelliJ, but like I said, I've used Eclipse. I've uh, I've used NetBeans now, and uh, yeah, I'll keep I'll keep kind of doing doing different things. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions or there's anything else um, you guys want to see inside of NetBeans or IntelliJ. All right.